Actually, I had lots of dreams. <laughs> it depends on when you... So my, I think I first wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to work for NASA. This is Houston, say again, please. And I have to be honest, I'm so proud of having to gone to Singularity University because the faculty in California is in the old NASA building. When I was about uh, 10 years old, uh, 9, 10, I got my first computer. It was a Commodore 64. And I had a, a modem next to it so I could call out to an internet service provider. And it made that lovely sound that I still miss, you know, you know, beep. So I wrote a very simple program in BASIC to control my modem and to just dial through all the numbers in my local area code, just looking for other computers that would pick up on the other end. Um, it became very, very interesting to me to look at the flip side of it, not just how to work, but how to break them. When we built the internet and when we built these underlying protocols, we didn't really build security in. And there should be no problems. Who would want to hack this? I understand that the geopolitical forces at play are actually creating a third world war right now. Right now we have World War III, but it's covert, it's fully digital, and it's completely asymmetric. And, you know, we see it happening uh, from a telecommunications perspective on the global telecommunications networks. That this crazy cyber war conflict thing needs to make room for cyber peace. With Singularity, I mean, the, thing, the subjects that I talk about there are things like quantum computing and how quantum computing is going to have a very serious impact in the security arena, which is why people need to wake up and start working on that problem now. We actually have solutions to these problems. So if we want to really work the problem, we need to do it together.